Hey guys, this is Ash and you're watching Writer Gash. So today I am doing a video I haven't done in a long, long time. I'm doing an unboxing of a book box. I think the last time I unboxed something, it was back when I was still an Ungrade subscriber and I haven't done a book box in a while. So I am so excited. This is making me nostalgic. My first ever book box was an Owl Crate that I got for my birthday when I started college. And this is something I got for my birthday from Fairy Loot. Fairy Loot is my all-time favorite book box and I am so excited to finally be off the waiting list so I can get one of these gorgeous boxes, well, books, on my already Fairy Loot filled shelf. I have previously gotten all my Fairy Loot books on Mercari or eBay because, I mean, when you don't have a subscription, you're going to spend an ungodly amount of money to get these gorgeous editions, aren't you? Or it's just me. I guess it might just be me. But anyway, so that being said, I am so psyched to show you guys what the September Fairy Loot box included. At least I think it's September. And I'm going into this completely blind. I do not know what the book is. I do not know what the theme is. I mean, I've seen the theme, but I'm not sure what it is. And I'm so excited to see what Fairy Loot has in store for me this month. All right. Oh my God. Ah! There's a blanket in there. Okay. I forgot about all of these little things that they use for packing. I love Fairy Loot blankets. They are so comfy. If you've seen some of my old videos, I used to film in front of the Fairy Loot Caraval blanket. And I still have it, but now that I have bookshelf, I film in front of this now. And I use it as an actual blanket instead of a tapestry. But I am excited to see what this blanket is. So it says Six Crimson Cranes. It's I have read the Spin the Dawn series. I absolutely loved it. But I haven't read this one yet. And it is on my TBR, like finished before 2022 ends list. So I am excited to see how that goes. Okay. So the blanket is by Kelly Chong and their at is at after blossom underscore art if you want to check it out. And oh my god, it does feel a little thinner than the other blankets I own by Fairy Loot and it is smaller but it is gorgeous. So this is the beautiful blanket from Fairy Loot. Okay, so now that I'm cozy in the fairy loot blanket, let's move on to the next item on the list. So this looks like a tin of some kind. Hmm. So it is a tin. I like this. It seems like a really good like kitchen appliance. Um, so it says, death was her poison and all she wanted was to be, was to consume more. Adeline Grace. I'm not sure what series this is from, but it is a beautiful chip trinket, which goes right on my shelf behind me. Okay, on to the next one. Botanic coasters. Ooh, I love coasters. I've been using them now that I'm an adult. Uh, the last time I got coasters from a book box, I gave it to my parents. But now I actually have my own apartment. So it's got beautiful like plant designs. And it's got belladonna, hellebore, nightshade, and foxglove. Well, what series is this from? So it's poisonous flower coasters produced by Fairy Loot. Uh, and it was designed by Stella at Stella Bookish Art. And yeah, botanic coasters. Okay, the next thing is a trinket tray and it's carden. So I'm assuming it is the Cruel Prince carden. I have not read that series and I don't think I will, but I know everything about it. So I think it's adorable. And it is designed by ARZ28. Yep, it is based on Holly Black's series. Okay, I've been seeing like the trinket trays a lot. Oh, oh my God. Isn't this the most gorgeous artwork you've ever seen? 
God, it's beautiful. Next thing in the box is the book, but this is um, this I'm gonna open at the end because it is the highlight of this book, sorry, box, because Fairy Loot makes the most beautiful books. So let's move to the next item on the list. There's some cards in here. Okay, so there were some cards in there. Uh, so these are the tarot cards that Fairy Loot does with all of their boxes. So this month's tarot card is death and the, oh, the hanged man. And look at the artwork. It is gorgeous, is it not? Absolutely beautiful. And then their little spoiler card with all of the acts of the people who created these. So the tin was created by a Chatty Nora. It's a Belladonna tea coaster, sorry, tea tin. So that's gorgeous and I am so excited. Uh, so now, the featured book of the month, this is the theme, and the book is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. Obviously now all of that makes sense. Um, it is a romantic fantasy set in a gothic infused world with wealth, desire, and betrayal. To uncover a murder, the main character forms an unlikely alliance with death himself. Death himself. Um, your Fairy Loot exclusive edition has an exclusive cover stencil sprayed edges, uh, artwork printed onto the hardcover by Tara T J A H. Um, Artwork on the end papers by Mono Lee Murth and signed by the author. Don't forget to read the author letter and check out the character print on the other side by Kudrian Ken? Kudria Ken? So this is by Kudria Ken, unless I'm pronouncing their at wrong, but it's a beautiful photo. And let's get into the book. Okay, it's a little warm at my place, so I'm gonna get rid of the blanket. Okay. September 2022, Farewell My Love. It's their little pamphlet with the theme for next month, which is Sell Your Soul. Um, I do get the young adult one because that seemed like the cutest box to get. It's a uh, The next month's book is supposed to be a Rapunzel themed romantic fantasy with a complete cover redesign. Sprayed edges, sprayed edges and digital signature. Um, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. No, that's the paperback because there's two books in the next month's book thing. Oh my God. I am so excited for this. So excited. Anyway, so that's that let's open the next thing in the bag it is a beautiful letter by the author with oh, this gorgeous image of the character art wait i think this is by at kudria ken not this at least that's what I'm assuming because it said on the back side. But oh my god, this is gorgeous. The artwork is just fantastic. And it's a beautiful letter by the author. I will read that later because I can't wait to look at this. Oh my god. Guys, look at this book. It's just not the most beautiful book you've ever seen got a quote on the back and oh okay <gasps> I'm not gonna look at the naked jacket yet because that's my favorite thing about books I'm hoping there's something on it but this is gorgeous So is this and um yes it's a light lavender look i am in love with the lavender color lately so it just fits my mood perfectly and oh my god they printed 
these flowers onto the naked jacket. It really does match that. I will admit, I'm a little underwhelmed because Fairlude always does these gorgeous naked jackets. So naked covers. And while this is still like beyond beautiful, I, I'm still excited. I still love it. I still absolutely love it. But yeah, God, no, this works so well with the edges. Like it literally feels seamless. Like it's floating into the edges and oh my God, it feels so good. I paint my own edges for some books, but those never feel this smooth. I don't know. There's something about the sprayed edges that's just beautiful. Oh, there's going to be a second book called Bo uh, Foxglove. Fairy loot. You're going to have to give me that book because I want matching editions. And this is signed by the author. Okay, there's a house in the woods with an Arthurian table and a never-ending charcuterie board. This is this one's for the women I've sat with at that table who make writing feel a bit more like magic. Well, I feel like this book's gonna be magic. Anyway, so with that, I'm gonna leave you guys so I can actually read. September has not been a great reading month for me. I have been working on my pieces nonstop. And I've got my proposal in, so it's a bit of a break, but I still haven't been able to read. I've been watching a lot more TV and I have two more books to finish by the end of the month, which is tomorrow. So let's see if I can do that and finish my TBR. It'll, if I can't, then this will be the first month I will be unsuccessful in finishing my TBR. And I sure as hell hope that's not the case because I would really, really like to finish the books I'm reading. It's not like they're bad. They're actually really good books. I just have been in a not reading my like mood lately. So I did surpass my original book goal of the year. I had initially said I would read 50 books and then by at the end of January, I was like, no, let's make it a hundred. I have read over 160 books now. So unofficially, it is a 200 book goal this year. So let's see if I can make that. And maybe Belladonna is going to be on that list of books that I'm going to be reading this year. Anyway, so that is it for this video. I am going to leave you guys with the final look at this gorgeous edge work. And I will see you later. Bye.